in vintage racing about just how to overtake a car and uh, the responsibilities yeah. that it takes to be a vintage racer. And I, I, the reason I ask is I, I'm, I'm very interested in taking the course, both for learning more about, um, you know, how, how to, you know, how to make a car perform. I've raced Miatas around tracks before, but I've never got, I've had a rally license, but I've never had a, a you know, a race license here in the States. And I, I think it would be great, especially with no pressure, because I'm not going to start going single-seater racing anymore. Yeah. But this would be a great way to learn the skills uh, in an environment that uh, you can enjoy. Yeah. And we're here looking we go. right there on that Lotus 7. John Nash did our school. And two really close friends on the front row who are neighbors this weekend in the paddock. So I hope nothing goes wrong here on the front <laughs> row. Here we go then. Nicely clumped together as they prepare themselves for their race. This is our Group 1, Group 3, Group 4, and 5B. Race 2 getting underway. And the Malik is off to the races. Pulling oh. quickly ahead of John Nash. But look at that, our, our birthday boy, Alan Cassavant in that uh, Lotus 7. Tries to get a, by Quirby, but he doesn't let it happen there. Quinn Derby, sorry, I said Quirby. I, I combined his names. <laughs> That's his new happened. nickname. I like it, Quirby. That's so, a beautiful Triumph Spitfire. He's yeah. driving the British Racing Green. And then look for Andy McLean there in that... Um, Bug Eye Sprite, the blue Bug Eye Sprite. Another one of our regulars. Yeah. This is a good group here coming into that hard left hand, then to the right hander that's a little bit blind because of the hill. Yeah. Had a big uh, IGT accident there yesterday, which put a lot of fluid down, but it took some time to clear up. But uh, all is well again today. Perfect conditions for racing. Okay, the 510 by Andy McLean. Now in this mixed group racing, that should be a group three car there and the number 74 of Patrick Crum, 1970 Datsun 510, red, white, and blue. Oh, but look at this, John Nash and Already? Quinn Derby. Quinn Derby's doing a really good job by sticking with these two. Well, the Malik jumped out into the lead. Look how quickly they've caught him by Oak Tree. And now down the back straight, he is somewhat in a precarious position. Well, look at him go there. That mallet really does have some good torque, doesn't yeah, it? Yep, yeah. and that's a Group 5 car. 5 BFM is what it's categorized at. And then we've got comments from Jared Campbell. Says, nothing beats camping with your son trackside and watching all the action on your phone. <laughs> Jared, where are you? We'll see if we can catch a little glimpse yeah, of we'll, you. we'll send the drone. Yeah. <laughs> Great, nice to hear some feedback from somebody here at VIR, enjoying it. And using the technology to yeah. stay, you know, because if you're here at one of the corners, you only get to see some of the action. So this is the best way to watch the race because when the cars go out of your sight, you can look at your phone or your device and what, look at him sawing that. Yeah, I love it. The oh, wheel, those are just beautiful. such Sunshine. skinny tires on that. Now we've got a uh, B sedan from 1970 versus a, what I would consider a more modern spec Miata. 